Hi, Kelly Swanson here. Good to see you. I'm just sitting at the airport waiting for my flight to take off. I just thought I'd take a minute to answer a question that I get asked just about every speech audience that I go to. In every, in every audience, there's somebody who says, hey, how can I get to be a motivational speaker like you? And I always laugh and try to give them an answer to that question. And it's come up so many times that I thought, well, let me just put it out here on video. So let me see if I can do it and answer it succinctly, which as you know, if you've met me, is not one of my strong suits. <laughs> but I get it. I get it when you see me do up on stage, what I do up on stage and make people laugh and encourage them and motivate and tell stories. And I get that burning desire in your heart to go, that's what I want to do. I meant to do that. I can do that. And so I want to start with some encouragement that if you feel called to speak, speak. Because it usually stares, scares people to death. And so if it's something you want to do, then I think you're being called to do it. So I think you should follow that pattern of your heart. And I appreciate that you took the initiative to ask how to be a speaker. The second thing you need to understand is it's not all roses and glamour and glitz. It is so much more than that 45 minutes you saw on stage. A lot of my friends think, oh, you get paid so much to just go talk for an hour. No, that's not what it's all about. They may be paying me that much for the hour, but you're not looking at the hours that I spent just to get there, the nights in the hotel rooms, the hours of preparation, the hours and weeks and years that I've spent working on my craft and my writing and, and the business of it, uh, which brings me to a whole other aspect. This is a business. It's not just an art form. So in addition to working on a craft, you need to learn how to run a business. So you're going to need to actually start your own small business. You're going to have to learn how to sell. You need to learn how to market. You need to learn how to do contracts and to close deals. <laughs> Scared yet? <laughs> but keep at it. It's important. Your story matters. And so you, you learn to conquer all these fears. If you're serious about it, then you'll work through all this stuff. So you do need to treat it like a business and you need to learn. And by the way, this is not a business where you're gonna make money on Monday. It doesn't work that way for some of us. It takes years to finally get some traction and to get this thing off the ground. This is not an easy money maker by any means. The next thing you have to think about is, what is your message? Um, what is your story? What is your perspective? What is it that you have to share with the world? What is that burning message in your heart? And even more, how is it going to help other people? Because being a speaker isn't just about getting up on a stage and telling everybody our story and leaving. We're paid to do something for the audience, to take them somewhere, to change their perspective, to teach them, to educate them, to deliver a message, whatever that is, it's you're not there for you, you're there for them. So you need to know what is that burning message in my heart that I have to share with the world and then you need to know how that's going to help them. Then you need to know who they are. Who is your market? Who are these people that are willing to pay for this information? Who are holding events? Who have the platforms where this message can be delivered? It's not always on a stage. It can be in a podcast. It can be in a radio show. It can be in books. We can get our message out to the world in so many ways. But you need to understand who needs to hear this and who's going to pay for it. And yeah, you gotta do research. You gotta look at where other speakers are going. You gotta get on the internet. But you have all the information you need at your fingertips. You just gotta put in the sweat equity and the work. So you really need to know who your market is. And the more specific you can get, the better. Just changing everybody's lives is a lot harder to get work than if you said, you know what, I wanna help women in leadership. And then it gives you more of a direction in which to go. Our message can be broad and it can be for everybody, but we can strategically target a certain audience. And then you need a plan. And that's a big, that's a big thing. 
And it's not easy to do, but it doesn't change the fact that you just need a plan. You need something on paper that helps you figure out how you're going to get from A to B, what you're going to do to get in front of these people. You'll need to figure out what your fees are going to be. You need to figure out how uh, you're going to offer things to the world. And it's a lot to figure out. And so therefore, you need a network. You need a network of people. My favorite is the National Speakers Association. Go find them, check out your local area, find the people who are already doing it, the people who are at the same stage you are, the people who haven't even started yet. This is where you'll find your community of people you can learn from and engage with and network with. It is so vitally important that you do that. So I recommend the National Speakers Association. And I also recommend Toastmasters. Toastmasters is a great place where you can go practice your material. That's what I love about it. You can find a local group, you can find your club, and then you can go in there and you can put these stories and these messages out there, work on them in a safe environment, and get feedback so that when you go out to the real world, when it really matters, you are good to go. That's as much as I'm gonna give you for right now because that's as much as you need and it's a lot to unpack but it's definitely how you get started along the road of being a motivational speaker. And if you're worried that you can't do it, it's normal. Shoot, there are days I still worry I can't do it. But let me tell you this, push past the fear and keep going because the dream is bigger than your fear. I wish you all the luck and maybe I'll see you on the road one day. Thanks.